Reading with the Bulls is presented by EduKids. Hi friends, my name is Kristen, otherwise known as Coach K on the tennis court, and I am the head coach for women's tennis at the University of Buffalo. We're going to read a book today called Too Many Carrots. I hope you enjoy it. To do, eat carrots, plant carrots, collect carrots, eat carrots. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Uh-oh, oh dear, ouch. Crash. That is boo-boo. He did. He got a boo-boo. That looked like a boo-boo. Yeah. The bunny got crossed. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we're all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branches wobbled and swayed. and snapped. Crash. I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash. Oh no, oh no. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep at my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. No. (laughs) But with all of your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, and squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Ah! They all got washed away. Crash! The friends groaned as they were swept up onto the riverbank. That's quite the mess. <laughs> Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless, and it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting, they were for sharing. And sharing made everything better. The end. We hope you enjoyed this book. Stay safe, stay home, and we're looking forward to seeing you back on the tennis court. Go Bulls. Reading with the Bulls is presented by EduKids.